Everyone, I've got a 100 day Kung Fu challenge that I'm doing and leading. So it's gonna be six days a week. Day seven is rest day. And six days a week is 20 minutes um, uploaded, pre-recorded um, lesson. And it's going through the 25 lessons of Kung Fu Dragon Tiger series program that I released about a year and a half ago. Had a lot of people jump on, uh, very good feedback. That it's always difficult to work through things by yourself. So there's a support group linked with that course and that's where the content will be uploaded to. So how you get access to it is uh, click on the link um, above or below this post and uh, join the course, enroll in the course, you have it for lifetime access, got all the information you need. And I'm going through the course 20 minutes at a time. And we're doing uh, what the benchmark, what the standard is we need to uh, acquire to be able to demonstrate with your own body before we move on to the next part. So it's very uh, experiential, interactive, um, and big thing we're working with and, and talking a lot about as part of the sessions is working on the inner limitations that you find when you're transforming things. So essentially Kung Fu, good Kung Fu training is about transforming. Transforming your body, transforming a um, sense of identity, transforming your energy. So you, you feel quite differently, you're living your life differently. You think differently. Good Kung Fu will open up windows in your thinking. So one thing you'll find is you encounter limitations. So it might be time limitations, energy limitations, um, deep stuck um, belief systems in the subconscious that are, you know arose through childhood that you don't need, don't need to use anymore, but are, you know affecting your ability to progress in your life. Um, pains, stiffness, all sorts of limitations. Um, the the want to give up easily. That's a very common one in people. Um, the self sabotage one is massive. So um, we're going to work with that quite a bit. We're just going to call it out show how it works uh, it's got different methods people self-sabotage in different ways and for various reasons it's to keep us safe that's ultimately what it's about but it's a dysfunctional safety so we want to move into a functional safety where things are stable able to have more sense of ability to respond inside ourselves to life's situations and events rather than just reacting so one of the one of the ways people self-sabotage is they'll get an online program for example or it could be any course I, just, I want to get all the information, I want to learn all the information first, I want to hear all the information before they act on it. So I just want to get all the information, so information gathering. And it's useful for a certain period, though at a certain point you have to start actualizing and implementing what you learn. And the thing is, if you don't do that, you, you get really bogged down and, it, and a lot of uh, uh, difficult emotions can start to rise. So the way you work with um, when you're learning and implementing is you learn a bit implement it straight away, create action with it. And it becomes a deeper, it come, becomes part of who you are. So it's an easy way to do it. If you're doing deep inner work where you're bringing up things from the subconscious to integrate, understand, to become a more, uh, uh, you know, stronger character, um, less reactive, um, less pain inside, all that sort of stuff. The way you work with those, you don't, you don't dig it all up thinking I've got to dig it up and then I'll work on it. No, you dig up a little bit, work on it, action it, implement it and then you dig up some more action implement. That way you actually have a lot more control over the process of what's going on in the subconscious mind and you have success. So if you just want to dig it all up, it's already a self-sabotage mechanism there. If you just want to learn it all before you do anything about it, it's self-sabotage right there. And um, I've become quite good at it these days, just seeing it right at the start, the way people talk, I can see oh, there's self-sabotage running. And it's very common in people, it's normal, though it can be changed. So we're going to deal with that sort of stuff. We're going to work with it in a really uh, positive, empowering way in the course. Come join us.